Morning guys, so it's been raining, it's a bit wet, it's a bit messy up here as well, it's, the wind's taking the slide, it's chucked stuff all over, so yeah it's a bit messy. So the plan today is our neighbour Dobby should be coming up with some scaffolding and something to cut the wood. I've got to move all of this wood that's on the concrete to this side and then Fingers crossed if the, the weather holds off, we'll be putting the, the framework up today with the, the uprights and hopefully at least get a, the first row of main beams across. So uh, I've got all the fittings to go in the concrete, the L brackets. So while I'm waiting for Chobby, I've moved all the wood from over there. It's still stacked under there nicely, it's still raining. I'm soaked. I've also backfilled around the concrete. So I'll chuck some grass seed down there in the spring. Taking out all the rebar. So I've still got to backfill the end down there because I can't get too good at that. Chobby's also been kind enough to give me some bitumen sheet so when the pole the posts go on the concrete i'm going to put these on the ends just to give it that extra protection so they don't get wet from underneath and job is on his way and uh hopefully it stops raining and we can start uh, once we've got all the holes drilled and the first post up it should go up pretty easy So, so far we've measured, well, Chobby's done it, There's one post is going there, another post there, another post there, he's done the same on that side, now he's going to measure the middles, then I'm assuming we're going to drill in the, the plates and then start cutting. Make it sure it's straight. Want to make a cup? No, I don't trust myself. I've never used a chainsaw. No? No. They actually scared me. <laughs> if you want this to go up straight, <laughs> I wouldn't suggest you never use a chainsaw. No, the elephant is very easy to use. Uh, gasoline is uh, dangerous. If I had to do it, I would. <laughs> But now you don't. But now I don't. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five cut, six and seven, and there'll be eight. Cut these, then we should chuck it up.
So first problem is looks like we didn't do our hole big deep enough. So it's not sitting flush. So I'm gonna try to cut off a bit of the collar. See if that will help. Post one done. Hey Jobby. <laughs> <laughs> What a mission. <laughs> so we figured out that these anchor bolts that I bought are shit. They're bad quality. But we got them in eventually. But we've got a load more to do. That's four posts up. Five to go. <laughs> and there's a lot more. So in my schoolboy wisdom, I bought them big anchor bolts and Chobber has these and from the time it took us to do one, not even one, we've done three. What's this bad boy? goes give it a couple of whacks and it's solid <laughs> so aim of the game here is if you're not 100% sure it's okay to ask <laughs> so we've got all the uprights up nine of them initially we weren't going to have this middle one but we decided to put it up so this is going to be the barbecue area a bit underneath which is going to be just for our door fire pit and Paddy swimming pool this area is going to be the shed so next we're going to prop these up so they're all straight like this and then hopefully we'll get the long beams up we're going to use this for the main beam at the top now instead of the big bit and uh, yeah we're getting there so now there's two on each one all the corners are level straight next thing to do is cut and put the three beams across so that's it for today it's got dark it's started to rain We've cut these choppers, made out so they can sit on top of each other in the middle there. We're going to come back tomorrow for a few hours and see how much we can get done. So that bit's up. It's absolutely massive now. So this is me standing here. Morning. So today I'm up here on my own and I'm gonna try get this up the top. I got one issue. I'm petrified of heights. I mean even standing up there is horrible for me. So I've uh, come up with a pulley plan. So I put this on here. I'm then gonna like that up there I'm gonna lift the because this is in two I'm gonna lift the first one up there then I'm gonna pull it up above onto there and then lift that side on that's the plan but we'll see um, like I said I'm petrified of heights so uh, I'm not feeling very confident about doing this so. He was scared going up on the ladder to undo that bit. <laughs> it's got to be done. Okay, so I've got the beam up so far. I'm going to jump up. I'm up to there. I'm going to attach my rope. 
Do a loop round here so then I can pull it from this end. I'll then pull it up to there and I'll lift that bit onto there. I'm going to put the steps up across there just to give myself something uh, to stop myself from falling backwards because I told you I'm petrified of heights. Um, I've already been up there, stuck my pulley on. That scared the crap out of me as well. I just hope it holds the weight. Um, we'll see how it goes. Well, my pulley system works. I can, uh, the only issue is I've only got one for one side. So, it definitely works. So, one beam's there. Now I've got one more issue. I told you I'm petrified of heights. I mean, I, I, I get scared just going on the top of this thing. Um, I've been up here. I've tried putting it up the top, and I've realised I can get the beam up there with the pulley, but I can't get up there to put the nails in. I, it's just it's my grip tonight. I can't do it. So I'm gonna have to wait until tomorrow for my mate Chubby to turn up, and he's not scared of heights. And uh, I'll ask him to jump up and do it for me, and uh, I'll stay on the floor with the pulley system. So, what I've done today is I've put in all the L brackets, <sighs> filled them all up, I've put more in the floor, there seems to be a few short, but it's not the end of the world, because I've kept some for the main beam, and I started as well today to cut the the corner joists. So I've done two. I've got a lot to do. Two, four, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen down here, nineteen up here, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-two, yeah, because there's twenty-four together and I've done two. So from what I've been reading and what I've been told is the strength of the structure doesn't come from the bottom here. It actually comes from here. By doing this, I'm going to strengthen the whole thing. Because if I take these off, at the moment it's still a bit wobbly. But once these are up, the roof is up, the rafters which are there are up, the thing will be solid. New help! My mate Emilian. So we're getting there. So, good progress this morning. It's like quarter past twelve. All the big boards sanded, treated, and got the stain on. The little boards there. Done. These are being done in spring. Leave them to dry out. Just got these to put the stain on, then we're going to try to get these sanded and treated today, stay them in the morning. 